Boom. Good evening from the Flying Can Ranch at Cedar Creek Lake, Texas. Last weekend I did a um, tabletop and a shoot review on a uh, airsoft. And now today I want to show you something even more strange. Well, different. Um, several years ago, I got a hold of this. I believe this is the T4E by Urex, which was designed to shoot out these 50 caliber um, rubber pellets or hard pellets or actually balls or pepper balls. And I don't know, I think they, some people said you'd use it as a paintball gun. But today I want to get into something a little different insofar as uh, I guess I didn't get it all the way down the box like I want it. Is the HDP 50 from Urex. So I tried to get it all back in the box but it jammed up. So let's get this out of the box quickly, quickly. I don't know how I got it in the first place, but I'm going to make it happen. Uh, I guess I can just drop that right here. And this is what you get. Right here. Now this piece here is actually stapled on like so. But you're going to open it up. I just left the front staple on it. And uh, in this box, you're going to get your, your little wrench for the back of it. You're going to get a, um, a little scrubbing squeegee for cleaning your barrel and such. Your instruction manual, which probably has more warnings and instructions. And then also with it, in case here is a, um, a little blue one here is your practice balls and it also comes with five or six pepper balls that you can use everything you need is right here so that being said and now we're not shooting any pepper balls today let's get the actual product up out of the box so you can see it there it is now i think they make these in different colors so I want to go over a couple of specs with it. Um, this is made by Umarex. It is HDP 50 caliber. Now before I go any further, this is for shooting the, the hard balls. I've heard some complaints about the rubber ones sticking in a loading chamber or to shoot pepper balls. This is not a paintball gun, period. So, this takes the 50 caliber ball. They say it cooks them out at about 375 feet per second or 11.5 joules. The barrel length is gonna be about four inches. I think the overall length is gonna be about maybe eight inches. And, cause it didn't say. And uh, so the barrel length is four. The overall length is gonna be about eight. And the weight is gonna be 1.5 pounds. So, I don't know, let's see. Mm, pretty equal in weight. Now, the difference between, a real big difference for me, was these really nice fiber optic sight on it. And they work very, very well. Whereas the H, the other one I have, is kind of just uh, bland, you know. But I made it work. And they, uh, by the way, they do make holsters for both of these. And then it has a Glock tile type safety right here. So that's it. Now, the slide does nothing. It doesn't rack back. It doesn't do any of that stuff. It's just made to look that way. There is a business end. Smooth bore barrel, needless to say. So when you want to um, practice, you want to... Um, Unscrew this, and you know what, before we do that, we're gonna show you something different. But we're gonna to get to that. On the side, on your right hand side is a little loading thing, the follower. You're gonna to have to get that pushed up and then pushed down. 
that'll hold it in place. Then underneath is this little hole. So you can pretty much just grab your balls and just drop them in there. One, and here is two, three, four. Say it's a six rounder. But uh, hold on. Sometimes when I'm loading this, I have to release the follow for a second. It just kind of got them pushed down. There we go. These aren't the most best quality. You need maybe a little better quality, but that's what I have. And, uh, and there's five, and then there is six. Whoops, I already got six in it, I guess. Yep. And then we'll release the follower, and you are good to go. I will find that. Yes, I will. Oh. Ah, I'm not getting no younger. Now, a little problem with this the other day, but this will unscrew. You're going to take that. That's Now, it's very important that you understand that you're going to uh, get your little CO2, and then you're going to put just a little bit of oil on the end of your CO2, like so. But you want to load this in here straight down, straight down inside the grip like this, neck up, let her drip. And then you find your puncture valve. And that screws on there just like so. Now, theoretically, theoretically, uh, I'm just going to hand tighten that. That feels pretty good. You should be able to take your hand and puncture the, the CO2. That didn't happen. We'll crank it up just a little bit more. Let's get it all the way up in there. I don't want to get the wrench on it. And you should be able to hit it in the palm of your hand. Ah, there it went. And this little pin will pop out. You're good to go. You're ready to shoot. So, this has a Glock style type safety into the trigger. So you don't have to fumble around looking for the safety like you do on other products. You can just get it out and start slam. As long as this pin is sticking out, you're active. As soon as you take the CO2 out, that collapses back into the gun, you're out. Or you drain your CO2 or whatever. I've gotten quite a few shots out of this thing in one CO2 for practicing. This one seemed to eat them up a little faster if I remember right. But we'll see so that being said this has a nice like 45 style the 911 45 from the military and you got that little web thing here your hand fits in it good it's got some texture it's not sticky and it's got a very nice sight picture maybe 25 feet i think i saw one guy lob one off at about 30 feet and I've seen people get hit with these various models. This one with the pepper ball, it's not pleasant. You do have a, a little weaver rail down here to put lasers and such on. Um, I was kind of hoping my girlfriend would be here today. I was going to let her do some of the shooting on this, but she's uh, tied up with something else right now. At any rate, um, but that's what it looks like right there. Very comfortable. And... Um, I'm going to get another shooting review, and I've got a target out here. I've got to see if I can I can lob into this. Uh, if you bear with me, just one second. Say from about 25 feet, we uh, had this filled with water, and we penetrated it several times. And um, you can kind of hear them rolling around in there. They didn't come out the backside. I should have stopped, picked up a uh, 
a, and I might do that later, get me a good candle and set it out there and see what it does to it. But that's sitting pretty good at 25, pretty 25 feet. That's a good, what I think, good self-defense area. So I want to show you that, the packaging, the whole nine yards, what you get, pretty much everything you need. Now you can order more pepper balls or practice balls, Amazon, eBay, um, maybe from Umrex itself to uh, have at it. This is not a toy, period. So don't be funny with it. You get hit with one of these things with just a ball in it, these balls I just loaded, it is gonna hurt bad, really, really bad. It is not a toy. It's just, it's, it's designed as a self-defense tool. Maybe you can train someone on handgun usage, um, but it's made for that purpose. And I know this one, I think we were going in about, oh, two, I had a box just packed with cardboard, and I think I went in like an inch and a half, two inches from, um, you know, around 20 feet. So they sling them. And uh, so there we go. Um, we'll put together a shooting review. And then we'll uh, make it happen later. Mm -hmm.